Well, we cap off the news on the political front as we head to the Upper West region, where daughter of former Inspector General of a Police, Jennifer Namfuri, says her track record will ensure her victory in the Drapa NDC parliamentary primary. She is the only female out of 30 aspirants that have filed to contest the NDC primaries in the Upper West region. Rafiq Salam now reports. Clayton said the Dapala came into the venue of the Vatican, bumped into and accompanied by maids of polling station and constituency executives and supporters who he claimed not aware of. They were there because of love and the numerous projects he has executed in their various constituencies. I, my people believe so much in me and they think that I shouldn't come here alone. That is why you see them. They voluntarily came from Jirapa to support me. I arrived from Accra last night, so I didn't even step foot in Jirapa. In fact, I was trying to hide, just to sneak in and do my vetting and move away. Little did I know that they were also mobilizing their numbers to come and support me. So that's why they are here. He recounted, in brief, some projects undertaken in his two years stint in Parliament. I give some support to students, brilliant but needy students, to pay their fees. And I think I did over 300 of them. I've been able to support over 300 of them. The minimum amount I've given to any student is 1,000 cities. Some 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, depending on the, the amount that the student is supposed to pay. So that's one of the areas that I, I do so much in. In terms of health, I've been able to do a clinic at Bazoo, you know, support motorbikes for the district health administration and all of that and even still in education i supported with textbooks i donated over six thousand textbooks to primary and what is a junior high schools you know furniture and all of that so i'm doing a lot and in terms of social intervention my people can testify that i have been in touch with them i've been supporting Clayton said the Dapala came into the political limelight when he became the Jiriba Constituency Secretary of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, and later District Chief Executive for then Jiriba District. He is of the firm belief that the delegates of the party will vote on May 13 to retain him as the party's parliamentary candidate in the constituency. Honestly, you know, I've been in this game for some time. You know me very well, and you know that I'm... Um, I've started my politics from far. I've been secretary, council secretary, I've been DC chief executive. God willing, I, I, I'm the member of parliament. I shouldn't be afraid of a contest. I have always cherished a contest. It is the only way that we can entrench our democracy. Standing in between that second term victory in the parliamentary primary is the daughter of former inspector general of the Ghana Police Service and late paramount chief of the Jiriba traditional area, Peter Tegnaban Namfuri. Jennifer Tegnaban Namfuri identifies some loopholes in the party. I know that the roles that women play in politics is very vital. You take your mother, for instance, for example, there's nothing that your mother can get done for you. Women are more soft hearted, they listen, and they pay attention and make sure that needs are met to their people. So therefore, I have decided to get into this race for um, Drapa Constituency. There are a lot of loops, holes happening there. And I think that me being part of this race will bring some changes. Jennifer Namfuri is the only female among the 30 aspirants that has filed to contest for the parliamentary primaries in the Upper West region. The information technology expert says she's not in the race for sympathy votes because of her late father, but has on her own worked for the party and deserved a resounding victory. When you talk about NDC in Upper West, you cannot talk about NDC without mentioning my late father's name. Okay, you take Upper West, you take Jirapa specifically. He has played various roles. So um, I have played roles in, in the party. So it's not because of sympathy. I started doing this two years ago. I started playing, coming home, talking to delegates, talking to the people to understand what their needs are. So it's not that I just woke up, immediately my father died, I said I'm jumping into the race. No, this is a, a long term thing that I started before this happened. The third name that will be on the ballot paper on May 13th will be Bright Salia, 
who is contesting for the first time in the parliamentary primary. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam. Wah!